Hey, good evening. I uh, decided I needed a little snacky stuff, so I'm about to make some cheese crisp with these deluxe American sliced cheese. Now, if you're going to try this, make sure you use deluxe. So, you just take regular slices of deluxe cheese. I like to use some hot sauce. We'll get to that in a minute. But, you take this. You're going to need it on parchment paper, but you want to take it and get it into 16 squares. So, I'm doing it probably the slowest way possible. <laughs> um, but I'll show you that outcome in a second. Alright, so I've got some cheese squares. Um, out on the edge of a piece of parchment paper and I'm gonna add a, just a few drops I like to use an eyedropper because I'm I don't know a little OCD I guess about how much more actually it's more about don't like to make a mess if I spill so um, I'm just gonna put a few drops on there and those are gonna go in the microwave in a second all right, so I got them there. Notice they're around the edges. You want to keep them on there so they cook evenly. Gonna cook this for about a minute. Now mine, I think I need to do 110 because it's a lower watt, but we'll see how they go. All right, so here they are, and this one looks to be good. My microwave did a little funky thing, so I gotta work on that. But you see how that's nice and crisp? The cheese is a little burnt on the inside, and you got that hot sauce. This is going to taste hmm, kind of akin to a, um, a cheese it. Listen to this. Got a good crunch and good flavor. Yeah, good stuff. So the really cool part is one slice cheese makes 16 of those. Again, deluxe American only. Don't use regular slice American. And you can do it with or without the hot sauce. And so one ends up being, you know, about a carb and around 100 calories if you're counting those. Going to throw mine into a little uh, snack bag and I'm good to go. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, bon appetit and happy dieting and such. Take care. Bye. So I did a second batch. Pardon the pork chop frying in the background. I did a second batch. I made sure they were all evenly spaced from the center. Again, you don't want to put them in the center because they'll cook faster. So I made them all evenly spaced. They all cooked out right this time. And they're perfect. A little crisp. And they just pop right off the paper. So there you go. Enjoy. Bye.